Okay, hi everybody. I am just doing this video really quick, kind of under the wire before all the trolls wake up. But you know what? I just read this. Okay, yes, March 7th, we're gonna hear uh, what Chris had to say. Hi, Jessica. We're gonna hear what Chris had to say to the FBI agents. And okay, I just need a I just need a moment to regroup here. Okay. So Ronnie Watts actually said, Oh, hi Katie. Good to see you, honey. Um, oh good, you're here with your little wrench. So we'll bang. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Yes. Um, so here's what's going on, okay? I read, I, I couldn't help it, you guys. I was just sitting there minding my own business, watching some TV, and a couple of you messaged me on uh, through like my uh, Chakra Wisdom Oracle page on, um, uh, what do you call it, on uh, Facebook. And really, I went and looked at the, the article, you know, about March 7th. You probably have already known. Everybody has a thing to say. But I know, I know. <laughs> Letty's like, I read it and I'm speechless. Hello. Okay, now, first of all, is Ronnie riding around on unicorns now, okay? Because there is no way, I'm telling you, I'm gonna send him a set of tarot cards because seriously, if he thinks that because Chris Watts has memorized the Bible, he didn't kill his children. Can we just have a minute for this? Is that the most asinine thing you've ever heard? First of all, um, I'm so sorry, Ronnie, because I really believe for a minute. I mean, I know. I know. I really think all of you know this already. We really, really know, right? Because we thought maybe Ronnie had a little, a little hope there, right? But now the real Ronnie's coming out. Oh, I know in my heart. He said, he couldn't have killed those kids. Well, who did? Who did? Uh, you know, I don't, it's just, I'm, yeah. Oh, okay. So uh, Tammy said, why? What happened with Ronnie? Okay. So if you go on and you Google uh, the Chris Watts confession, because he, and just, just type in Chris Watts, March 7th, because the CBI and um, the detective from uh, Frederick, the three of them went up to speak to Chris at the, at the prison. And Ronnie's comment was, I don't know why they went up there. It's already done. It's already said and done. And, <laughs> and, and then, like, who went up? Okay. Okay. Thank you, Jess. Okay, seriously, if I was drinking, really, wouldn't we all have a tall one right now? And I'm telling you right now, I'd be seeing, I'd be seeing like little magical unicorns. That's, that's all I can think of is Mr. Ronnie is like, unicorn dad. Now it makes sense to me. And I'm, I'm being honest with all of you and saying, I couldn't figure out because he just seems like such a nice guy. He does, doesn't he? And here he is with like, you know, I don't know. I'm going to call her Broomhilda tonight because I'm in a mood. But I mean, it just doesn't make sense to me. And I don't mean to put I don't mean to put her down. We all have our issues. Right. OK. I was Broomhilda today. I mean, it's just been that kind of, you know. So anyway, here's the deal. And this is what I'm going to say to all of you. So Ronnie said in the in, they quoted him in the article. I don't understand why they went up there, meaning those three people, the three CBI, uh, excuse me, the two CBI and the Frederick detective. He went he went up there. I know if it was a, my child, I probably would think the same thing. I, I know. I know. But you know what? I don't know about that. I'm going to I'm going to stop and, and think about this for a minute and think about who I am and and. I know, I know. Everybody's complaining that I jump all over. So I'm just going to come back for a second to center. Here's what I think, you guys. There was an article today. There was a couple of them that were saying that these two CBIs and the detective from Frederick went up to see Chris Watts in the prison. I'm not looking at chat so I can, like, pay attention. The When they asked Ronnie about it, Ronnie came back and said, I don't know why they, the three people, went up there. It's already done. It's been, it's over. And then Ronnie said, I don't believe in my heart that he could have hurt those girls. 
Now, again, those girls, what is this? Is it running the family? We're not really attached to them. Those girls, it's kind of like, it's kind of like they're not connected to him. Okay. Um, anyway, what happened, what happened then was that, um, he's then said that Chris Watts knows the Bible inside and out and he's quoting it. And I thought to myself, you know, I'm sorry, quoting the Bible doesn't make you a Christian, okay? It's certainly, it's like, it's like living a, a life of as much as possible in reverence to Jesus Christ, to those teachings. I mean, right? I'm telling you, it's like, and I'm the, you know, somebody said to me the other day, they posted on, uh, and this is related, I promise, they posted and said, well, I need to know what you believe um, because if you don't believe X, then I really can't follow you. And I said, well, what difference does it make? You know, because if I tell you what I believe, then I'm signing into something that's fear based and I don't want to have that. Right. So it just was kind of like, I don't want to be in that space. So let me see. Um, he's confessing about something because he found God only entrance to heaven is through confession. Thank you for that, Margo. That's a great insight. Um, Margo just gave us that, you know, yeah, everyone in prison knows the Bible. Um, you know, and here's the thing. I, I, I just think that, um, you know, I really, I really wasn't on, I, I gotta be honest. I wasn't on a hate thing with Ronnie Watts. I kind of thought, ah, you know, he's just a, as they, as they say, well, he's just a good bloke. You know, he's just like a, you know, he's just a, he's just a guy. Well, now I'm starting to see why he stayed where he stayed for over 30 years. And the truth is that, you know, he's kind of like riding in the sidecar of a motorcycle that doesn't have a driver. And I think that's what we're looking at here is that your son, not only, confessed to killing Shanann. He also confessed to killing the children. And I'm sorry, that's the way it rolls. He did it, bye-bye, okay? So I just kind of wanted to jump on and say that to you, um, you know, and I listen, here's the thing. I really hope, and somebody said, "If uh, let's see, I've missed something. Chris already confessed. Yes, Chris is filling in more details. This is the big news thing. Um, it's kind of all over, all over YouTube with sensationalism. I think I just wrote, I think my thing was, you know, I think my title was Ronnie's riding in on, on, uh, you know, unicorns now, but I think it's kind of like more because, you know, um, I was thinking that I was thinking he wasn't going to say much till his, his uh, folks are dead, but I think that he's filling, he's going to fill in at least the CBI said he did. They have, you know, all these transcripts now of what he said uh, about what happened that night. And I think we're going to, I think we're going to hear it. Um, you know, um, it's forgiving. It is forgiving a break to Nicole. Oh, maybe it is. Somebody said he's doing that to give NK a break. You know, I think the biggest thing about this is that, and I was thinking about this today, I was looking at the sheep, like Chris Watts is this sheep. Have you seen that? Like he just kind of like they showed pictures of him in going into prison. He was like sitting that here. And he was just like thought, like doing what he was told, you know? So, and I, as somebody just said the plea deal should have been contingent on the, on the facts. You know, I, I have a funny feeling. And this is my sense, and we might not see it for years and years, and maybe I hope I'm wrong. I have a feeling that um, that that surveillance in the house. <clears throat> I have a feeling the backup kicked in, and I have a feeling that. And I know this is gossipy, gossiping. I have a feeling that they that it caught him um, carrying the bodies down. Um, and I, I got to tell you, I don't think. Um, I, 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 oh, somebody said, but can we honestly believe him? You know, if he says that he killed the kids, I think we're going to honestly believe him. I mean, and, and they really, um, one of the things too, I want to remind everybody about with this. And I think this is kind of true. Nobody gets away in these kinds of circumstances free. Think about it. You know, the, these, all of these people are going to be tortured for the rest of their lives from this. And I think, you know, my sense was always that he killed the kids first. And by the way, 
I was reading up on rigor mortis. I know like I have nothing better to do, right? It's like, hello. But I was reading up on it and I was reading up on, if you all remember, I know I'm kind of like, but I want to say, if you all remember when he talked about 2NK, he said, oh, it's so smelly. Well, why would the, sh why would the kids' sheets smell? And a body starts to smell after a, after a short amount of time. I have a feeling he killed them and then he found out the plane was delayed. I, I, I think that what we're talking about is that, you know, I think he did kill them on a different timeline. And I also, you know, I really think when I looked at Chris Watts in the prison, right, I was looking at him as a follower. You know what I'm saying? Like he was just like, he was just sitting there and they said, okay, come on, Chris. And he just like, he looked like an old beaten dog. Oh, why would he tell her that uh, about the sheets? He was on the phone with Nicole Kissinger. Uh, sorry, NK. If you remember, they actually had the phone records of them on the phone with each other in different parts of town for 110 minutes. So, and this, this came out uh, actually in the discovery. Mm. Because um, uh, the the CBI guy, I keep kind of you know just getting <laughs> give him special names. Um, he's the one who said, "What were you talking about for 110 minutes?" And she said, "Oh, I don't remember." Well, in that time, she mentioned that the TV was loud in the background. He mentioned the sheets stunk, and there were no sheets on his bed. And to be honest with you, I really think that. You know, at that moment, I mean, I think 110 minutes was like phone sex, but whatever. Um, that's what I mean. He stayed at home for hours with his dead children. Like that would just freak me out. Okay. And somebody said to me, and I want to really come clean on this because y'all know, like I talk about being intuitive and yes, I do. I do readings and all that stuff. And, and, and that's, that's my jam. Right. But somebody mentioned to me, what do you think of all these like spirit box things on the, you know? And I was like, no, no, don't conjure the dead. Don't be asking, don't be insulting Shanann's family by saying you're talking to her. And I'm sorry, I just have that, that bottom line about that, okay? I don't like, I don't really talk to people unless I'm sitting with like you and it's your father, okay? I don't, I don't think, I think it's very invasive. You know what I mean? It's like, I know the radio waves, you're going to... Does that really work? You know, here's the thing. I don't know all the time. Um, you know, I listen to some of these stories that people are telling about, you know, what Shanann wants or what Shanann doesn't want. And I think to myself, really? Because honestly, all I'm going off is her 2019, like, vision board, right? I, and that's not psychic stuff, okay? I just want to say. It's her vision board. She wanted to make an impact. This was her year. Well, guess what? She is. And I really hope it's about turning this world around. And when we look at the inappropriate behavior, you've got to see this. It is so inappropriate. And I don't care. Like, think about it. I want y'all to think for a minute because most of you, there's always one or two fruitcakes, but <laughs> most of you, right? Most of you have like your head on right. Let's think about this for a minute. Horrifying. I'm going to knock wood. Horrifying. Imagine that you're just playing a character. I don't want you to think it's you playing a character and that character's son or daughter killed their spouse, right? They, and it was a brutal, cruel murder. I want you to think about this for a minute. Your, their spouse and your grandchildren. I would, I think you'd be stunned, right? I know those girls, right? Um, and I've got to tell you, um, I don't think Nicole Kissinger, I don't think NK is going to have anything to say because I think we'll all laugh her off the stage. And that's what I hope. I hope we close down any channels. You know, by the way, this happened, if you remember, with O.J. Simpson. Do you remember he wrote the book? Judith Reagan was a very big editor. She was like major in New York. And, you know, obviously I'm my jam is the publishing world. So, you know, she was a very big editor in New York and she took on his book, If I Did It. 
I love the unicorns. Thank you. <laughs> so he he basically he basically said if I did it, you know, NK should have been, you know, googling that because the the people were appalled and that thing got pulled. He didn't make a dime on it. In fact, it all went to the 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 kids, the you know, his kids. Oh, another Nicole murder. I mean, what is this? Please, please, please change your name if you have a that name right now. <laughs> so um and here's the thing I want to say. I know Kennedy, Kennedy Clark just said that. Let me tell you something. If she writes a book and they try to put it on any, I remember they tried to put it on, I want I don't know if it was Good Morning America. They tried to do some interview stuff and they were just harassed. Like the phone lines rang up and they went, these were live in those days. It was just like, take this crap off. And it got pulled. And even the heads of, I think it was Putnam publishing they just said we're, we're, we're tossing this book basically so i just don't think we're gonna see that from you know it's i don't think we're gonna see that from her and i think if we do if we do then she's basically signing her guilt warrant because anyone who does that you know it's like anyone who does that is is gonna pay gonna pay for it i guarantee Let's see. Uh, is was it Scott who said that? I'm sorry. It's just going kind of quick. Um, somebody just said something really interesting. Um, yeah, and I do believe that God does forgive, and I want to say that I believe God forgives. But you know, you you have to repent. You have to confess your sins, right? Um, okay. I heard any prophet from a book deal that Chris writes. Yeah, it would anything Chris makes will go to her, the family. Um, who's it? Uh, yeah, fake tears. Okay. Um, I'm just trying to find this. I think it was Scott. I can't see who said it, but it was just something about um, <laughs> my nail polish. You're killing me. Uh, it's a CMD uh, nail polish. Um, let's see. Yeah, there's a law in Australia where you cannot profit from a crime. We have that here, but what happens is who the money goes to is is kind of undecided in the sense that think of it this way in our country we've got two grandparents and in a sense they're both victims because they both lost their grandchildren so the the you know basically the rucheks the rucheks are saying no 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 you don't get anything this is how it goes because you know and i keep i don't know about you guys i keep thinking this i keep thinking that that uh bella and celeste are with the Ruchecks, the Ruchecks, I'm sorry if I, Ruchecks. Um, I know that's so strange, but I really feel this feeling like, I feel like they're alive, you know? Um, okay, let me see. Um, whose dad said that? Oh, okay. Um, it was uh, Ronnie's, uh, excuse me, Chris's dad said that, um, but he can make a deal to move prisons. Yeah, I think they can. Oh, the civil case. Yeah, the civil case is very different. Isn't that funny? Um, let's see, maternal grandparents. Yeah, exactly. Um, I remember seeing Chris Watson f confession videos, uh, saying he got on top of her, Shanann choked her. It was something to that effect. Now here's what's interesting. If you go back through the interrogation and you hear how, um, he, he describes, and, and I'm telling you, um, the guy, I keep wanting to call him Graham, but, um, I know one of you, the, the CBI guy he was on, he was describing it and then they kind of keep going. Um, oh, but where was she? Where was the child? Where was Shanann? How are they laying? And they were forcing him into physically acting out the crime, which the minute he did it, we knew he knew what happened because he did it. It's the old thing of like, if I go, oh, um, you know, I'm just going to use the name here. Oh, Rosie did it. You know, Ro Rosie did that. Well, what did Rosie do? Well, she went like this. And it's like, hmm, how did you know that it was shaken? You know what I mean? Like, you know, well, I don't know for sure, but I mean, that's what I saw them do. Well, it's like, that means you were in the room. The minute you put yourself in the crime scene, you're guilty. Sorry. I um, wonder if he'll admit if the children were deceased before she came home. I'm hoping he does because I'm really hoping that we don't have to live through the horror that could have happened if Shanann 
was murdered and then he killed the children. I'm, I know that sounds terrible, but I'm really hoping that it is the other way around. I know that's like an awful thing to say, but there was no struggle anywhere, guys. There was no struggle at all. You know, um, he just, he just, no explaining. He said Shanann did it, you know. Um, oh my God, the pizza? I mean, oh, um, Blair said, wait, is he gonna do an interview? He already did it. Here's what happened. I'll fill everybody in and then I'm going to, um, I bet you're wrong. I think Shanann was killed first. You know, you may be right. Okay, Michael, you may be totally right on this and we're not going to know until we get that report. Okay. So the CBI people, the two, uh, the two agents and Tammy, and now I can't remember the guy's name. <laughs> I always do this. It's one or the other. And the detective, the original detective on the scene, the three of them went up to see Chris in prison and had a long talk with him. And they found out all of the details. They said that Chris filled in uh, the details. Can you picture as a mom walking into your home and seeing your baby's dead? You know what? If I did... If I saw, and I'm just sharing with you like what I would feel like if I saw that, and I'm just going to even use my dogs. You guys know how much I love my dogs. I mean, like if I even walked in, I mean, you can imagine a child, right? And I saw somebody had killed, I would be frozen with fear. I would be terrified. I would just not know what to do. I would just be like, and I have to imagine that if that's what happened, Shanann, I would just lay down and want to die. I mean, she did not fight him at all. I know uh, EM just said Shanann was a fighter and um, it would have been risky to kill the kids first. But listen, he's not the sharpest tool in the shed. He's also not the brightest bulb in the box, how you say it. And as my favorite is one taco short of a grand buffet. I mean, this guy is like not. Oh, yeah, exactly. Jessica, I would have killed him, too. I would have just gone berserk. But you see, I don't know because she was pregnant and in pain if she was capable of getting that nerve up. So I just don't know. Um, yeah, exactly. Um, I hope they hooked him into a polygraph. No, he already, he's already in a poly, he already did the polygraph. He was lying. I think the thing is he already admitted he killed them. Now what the FBI is saying, and what the statement was, is that Chris filled in the details of what exactly happened that night. So we're actually going to be hearing and seeing that report next uh, on March 7th. So I'm going to be doing a live feed. I'm going to be sitting here reading the, um, let's see, uh, Irene said what I think. Okay, let me see. I'm going to be reading the discovery as soon as I get it. Um, well, Chris is a liar, but he did say he killed his kids. So I'm hoping he takes all the blame, right? Um, I know, see, as a mother, I wouldn't want to live without those babies. If I came home and saw that, yeah. Well, he is stronger than Shanann. I, I agree because, you know, um, yeah, what exactly happened? Um, let's see. CBI should have stayed in Colorado. Um, let's see. No, 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 that's not what happened, uh, happy customer. CBI should have stayed in Colorado. CW says come hither and they run up there. No, 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 that's not what happened. They went on their own. And and uh, Ronnie said, why did they go up there? Because Chris did not request them. They went up to see him. Um, yeah, I think, it, um, I think it, you know, it's very hard to say. I think he would have killed the kids right after he texts the kids are sound, are sound asleep. Maybe. Um, I know he had no injuries. You know what, though? I'm going to that dumb. You know why? Remember, he took the sheet from the bed and took it out there, and then he took the, his sheets that were in the house, same matching set, throws it in the garbage. And I remember Tammy said to him, why'd you do that? He went, I don't know. Like, I just wanted to get rid of them. What? It I know. Okay. Um, anyone who thinks there's a motive for him to kill them all, that Shanann killed them, really? Um... I don't get it, Serenity. I don't know what you're saying. This conversation is killing me. Anyone who thinks there's a motive for him to kill them all or that Shanann killed them all. Really? Okay, I don't get that. Sorry. Um, mm, okay. Um, <laughs> somebody said it's Thrive. Yeah, I think... Um, 
You know what? I'm glad you said that style in 1015. Do I think if the friend would have walked in, I wonder about that. I wonder if, uh, if she had walked in, uh, with, with Shanann, um, that night, I wonder if I gotta be honest with you. I gotta tell you, I think she would have kicked his ass. I think he would have ended up dead to be honest with you. Um, have you watched Nutgate? No, I can't say. I don't know. Photos from the day. I'm trying to keep up. I know. I know. It's okay. Um, yeah, let's see. They have some new discovery or completed the rest of her. Okay. Yeah. No, what happened was, um, and I'm just going to say this, and then I'll, I'm going to actually wrap up in a minute, but I just wanted to let you all know the news of the day, and that's why I'm jumping on with all of you. The news of the day is that... Um, Chris Watts actually filled in what happened that night when Shanann got home. He did tell the two CBI agents and the detective from Fed Frederick Police Department, they went up to see him. Ronnie then said in the paper, he was quoted, Ronnie the father said, why are you, why did, why did you even go up there? And I was like, what, what do you mean? Um, and the point is, is that, you know, he, Ronnie said, I know in my heart, my son could never hurt those kids. And I know that Chris knows the Bible inside and out. He can quote it. And I'm like, yeah, you know what? I know lots of people who can quote the Bible. I really do. And you know what? They're not the nicest people. And so it doesn't make, just because you can quote something doesn't mean you're intelligent. And it doesn't mean that you follow the teachings of Jesus Christ. So you know, I, I kind of think if you're going to follow, follow, if you're not, you know, but, but don't, don't try to throw a Bible and say, oh, well, he's now, you know, no, unless he's repented. Uh, uh. So we'll see. Um, yeah, <laughs> I love MZ just said she would have effed him up. Yeah. You know what? I think Nicole Atkinson would have taken his little scrawny five, nine. And I think she would have like, I think she would have annihilated him. Um, man, I wish, like, I just, that's, that's, now that's a video I would have paid to see. Um, sorry, I don't mean to be, let's see, March 7th, yes. Um, I know, I need more mods. Okay, I'm going to say goodnight because, um, unfortunately, I jumped on at the last minute and I kind of um, did that. I think, wait a second, I think I can kind of... Um, Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I kind of, um, I wanted to see if I could slow it down. Nope. Not right now. All right, guys, I'm going to say good night. Um, because I wanted to just check in with you all, but I will see you all very soon. Much love to everybody. And I'm, I'm grateful for all of you. And remember, say what you mean, mean what you say, but don't say it mean and be nice to each other out there. Thank you.